we got something a little bit lighter. We mentioned this last week that a long, long time ago, Chad Capper, founder of Rotor Riot um, and co-founder of Flight Flight uh, Test, uh, had made a movie about drones. <laughs> And we teased it last week, and I think uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to play the trailer. And uh, hopefully... Oh, he's got it up on his new channel, actually. Yeah, he's got the whole oh, movie up on his whole channel. I, I linked that what? in the chat as well. Yeah. Oh, there's a link. You could just watch the whole movie for free. Oh, yeah. my God. We should do, We should ask him if he would mind if we like stream the movie and do a watch party. We're not going to do that tonight, but that might be fun but here is a react a react we're gonna yeah, watch yeah. the trailer and we're gonna react i actually haven't seen this whole trailer oh my god the retention is look at the retention graph uh now nah, we're out this is the exact moment where almost all of the audience has left <laughs> ouch okay oh wait, wait, wait. we came back all right here we go we're gonna watch the trailer when the world's turned upside down it's strange what you start to miss that's uh, Christian Capper, Chad's son. Also the editor of most Rotorite episodes. Being alone during the outbreak was hard, but I accepted it because I thought Dad was dead. Now that there's a chance he might be alive, I, I can't stop wondering. Why didn't he try to find me? Look at that little so tricopter! He would abandon his son. I miss Dad more than anything, but... I'm afraid what I might learn when I find him. Mission 185 died this morning. My friends call me Kitch. Well, they called me Kitch. This decent acting from Capper, from Christian. I mean, his the, delivery the is... You know my dad? Is terrible. I haven't seen him in years. The writing is terrible. Wait! So Wait. bad. Wait! Before the friends are kid got there. Hand it over. He's gonna kill me. Bring in the girl. Hey, let me go. <laughs> get him. <laughs> you need to go get the weapon. This is so this close to a good movie. It's the only way I'm going to be able to find my dad. This is so you close to... the drone uh, under control, you're going to win the race. You better not mess this up. It's really clear that how much skill went into making this. Do this. Watch this turn, it's tight. Oh, go! Keep going! It just Why feels like... Why won't anyone like... take me seriously? I've got a gun! And not get me in that car. Get in the truck! Ah! Hitch! No matter what you say, I believe in you. It's so close, Blunty. I gotta say... Uh, if, you say if you say so. <laughs> it feels so... There's, there are so many aspects of it that are skillful. And it just is missing enough things that it kind of doesn't hold together. It's corny. Like the line, uh, like what stood out to me is when he says, "Why would anybody pay you know pay attention to me? I've got a gun." That's a that's a solid line. But then the very next thing that happens is like a, a whiff, you know. I don't mm. think. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you don't agree. See, it seems real bad. And so the dialogue is very like uh, it, the Better Call Saul Breaking Bad writers say have the saying that say um, uh, it's two brothers that are sitting together, and one brother says to the other, "You know, how long have we been brothers?" Uh, that's not a line that you can say as brothers. Nobody ever right. says that, but you right. say it to set up story. And that was right. like the whole, the whole movie was like, I didn't know my dad was not dead. Now I found out my dad was not dead. A little I'm going bit to too much of tell, tell, not show. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe we should, I mean, I feel like w what if we did a watch party and we, we watch it and we, you know, record it. You ever seen those, uh, there's some guys, there's these two guys, they watch movies. I saw them because they watch and make fun of Steven Seagal's movies. And they'll just sit down and record the, their reaction, like MST3K style. And then they'll edit it down into a 20 minute. Maybe we should yeah. watch it. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, it is interesting though. Uh, you know, there's, a, I still think there's a lot of like the costume design, set design, uh, you know, there's a lot of components of it that show a lot of skill. Uh, but then it's interesting to see the parts that miss that make the whole thing f sort of not work. Uh, sure. Well, the, yeah, like he said, you got to tell a story that people care about, like that people mm. want to hear. Yep. And like, <laughs> that's the whole point of the movie. <laughs> yep. Well, so. anyway, how long is the movie? An hour or something. Hour 40. Hour 40. It's like hour a real... 40. It's a long movie. It's like a, hold on, let's see. Hour 40, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hour 40. I don't know if I would watch an hour 40 of, of that. 
That's uh, that's a lot to ask. All right. Well, we'll think about it.